All right, so good evening. I got a short update here. I wanted to share this with you as I'm touching along here to getting these things all sorted out. We have some positive news uh, tonight is I fixed a thing. I will come to this here in a second. Last night or shortly before it got dark and that fixed the issue with the starting. And this is okay, what it looks like so it right now. News here today. So, uh, this is what we got, and we found the culprit in this whole thing, which is right here. Yeah. Okay, let me show you what we got. This is what caused the starting issues. That is the voltage regulator from my alternator. This and poor contacts with the fuel pump relay, the Mercedes-Benz one, after I cleaned up the contacts after testing it yesterday on the bench, which I made the videos from. And this thing here caused the problems. Now, it starts every time, the first time, just like it always did. The only issue we got left now is the idle. You could see this. I think I can go back here. Let me just go back here. That's why I did it this way. So I can show you this. So we're starting, I think about, let me see. Let's see where we are. That far back. I don't think that this actually updates here. Let me show you this. Let me uh, do this and do this. So here comes the start. Almost immediately, so we're right there at 1,200,000, that is normal. And then it starts to drop off, and that's too early, and then it goes back up. And this is coming, this is now an issue with the um, idle speed control unit itself. It is dropping the RPM too early, it should hold it at the lower when it is trying. But then the signal basically is coming back from the engine that this is not exactly of where we need it to be. So. Um, this is basically where we are with this here. I did it on YouTube because my computer is too old to play these high definition videos. And uh, But this was the issue for the starting. So if you're having starting issues like I did, that it doesn't start. Now, if you may remember this from my earlier videos, in this video you could see it, the lights are on and they go off for maybe a second and then you come on as soon as the engine starts and we have full power and this thing here started to flicker because the brushes are not long enough anymore and this is just about the time when this happens I don't know for how many more miles but pretty soon let me see where we are here on this when the lights come on the left one here this is your alternator light and usually that starts to flicker. And I think some people have reported ASR light coming on with the ABS light, either one of the two. And um, that's usually where they are with these things, you know. And um, I found this unit here is a aftermarket version from Germany. And this is made by Monarch. It comes from Germany, has 12 months warranty. And um, Mercedes source, Kent sells those. And I think they're around 25 bucks plus shipping. And this is your alternative to the Bosch part for I think 60 or 80 dollars. So if you just want to test it to see if that's your problem, I put this in, it was a perfect fit. It is exactly what, what the Bosch unit looks like, it, the same type of material. I cannot see any issues here with this unit. Let me go back to my video. This is a little bit funny here tonight, but this is the best we can do. I'm not really an expert with this video stuff, but you can see this and the brushes actually, when they're new, they're almost two and a half times as long. They come out to about here where my finger is. And you can see it. And if they go out a little bit more, then you're gonna have the alternator light come on and start flickering. This is basically when the thing goes bad. So this is like five minutes before high noon on this one. 
a few more miles i don't know 50 miles 100 miles a thousand miles 500 miles i don't know and it would have been toast but this is where this car so these these failing or aging voltage regulators on the alternators can cause quite a problem for the computers because of unclean dc coming out of there especially when you start it that's what we know and ken berkman had pointed this out in his video series and i thought I didn't know what this is going to look like. I figured they probably didn't maintain it since they didn't maintain very much on this car. Or if it was, it was a long time ago. And sure enough, I pulled it out yesterday. It got here. I got the replacement yesterday from Kent or his daughter sent it. And I put it in right away and this was the result. So I said, before I'm going to do anything, I'm going to do four or five starts. And ever today, throughout all the temperatures and several hours of waiting in between, the car started up the very first time, just like you see it. And uh, like I said, it's just bouncing where it drops a little bit too early off to the lower RPMs. That is something I'm going to look into. This is about the very last issue we have left. And it might be because it's the 420 SEL um, ECU I got on there. That is possible. Uh, or the... Uh, uh, idle speed control itself may have a little uh, hiccup there and then we will see. I have two more idle speed control units coming from Mercedes-Benz used ones on eBay and um, I bought several more used uh, fuel pump relays. I'm going to take a look at this and I found an extra computer, an extra ACU for 560 for this one here. It's the um, California version, so I can maintain the EGR temperature sensor besides the oxygen sensor. And I got the EZL coming for the 560, the actual, actually the one which belongs in here. So my timing is going to be correct. It could be possible that this problem resolves itself when the correct EZL is in there and the timing stabilizes. Uh, but at this point, this looks more like an issue with the uh, idle speed control because you can see it controls it up to about a thousand eleven hundred that's normal and then it kind of but it drops off too fast for the temperature it should stay up there a little bit longer and then uh, you know it, it usually drops off slow and then you have a more smoother operating engine than when it is so cold temperature tonight was 29 the coldest one i had today was about i would say 24 25 it didn't make any difference. It uh, started right up. It started up yesterday right away and it's starting up now. Every single time I started it today and drove it, it started right up the first time. None of this where I have to start three times. It is the same control units in there. The only difference from the last time you watched that video with starting three times is that I cleaned the contacts on the fuel pump relay when I had it on the bench yesterday because I made poor contact with my test clips and I replaced the alternator uh, voltage regulator. I will put a link in there. Also, these are the LEDs from Ken Berkman from Mercedes Source. I put in there, that's why I took that cluster out and my cluster was burned badly because the light bulbs which were in there, at one point or another, someone had put in light bulbs with a higher wattage and they, as higher the wattage is, is more light you're going to get, it's logical, but also is more burnt out, this whole melting or this whole thing starts to melt in there because it wasn't made for it. So this is the solution for it. I like those a lot. I will put both links in the description. Okay, you have a great night. Thank you.